How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to show you how to make a HTTP GET request using the Rust programming language. So I'm going to show you two ways here. The first way being the long way which will give you more flexibility when things go wrong and the second way being the short one-liner to simply get you the response body. But first we need to include the request crate in our Rust program. So go inside your cargo.toml file and under dependencies just type out request and that is request with a w equals 0 0.8.3 so it's request req west 0 0.8.3 you can save that one now inside your main.rs file up the top here you just want to type out extern creates and then requests all right so now we can start making some requests. So, the long way. We're going to make use of quite a few match operators to, you know, do things when something goes wrong. So first, we're going to type out this. We're going to say match, and then we're going to match request, and then the get function. So here, you pass in the URL to make the request to. So I've set up a URL here on my machine locally and in the browser, you can see it here. It's youtube.local forward slash hello. The response is simply just hello decode. So we're going to make this request to get this text using Rust. So inside here, I'm going to pass in HTTP and then youtube.local forward slash hello. And that is the URL to make the request to. Now, we're going to see if that request, actually, you know what? Request with a W, so REQ WEST. So now we're going to say, did this request, you know, was it successful? Did it actually go through? If it was, then we get a response. So OK, and pass in a mutable response. So now, Everything inside these brackets is if the response was, you know, received and we can move on. However, if there was an error with that, so error, we're just going to say print line could not make the request. Okay, so now if the request couldn't be made, we get this. If it was fine, we get this. So this response variable is actually a response type. So the response type has a, a method on it called status. So the response could, you know, be status 200, status 404, status 401, etc. So what we're going to do is check if the response was the 200 OK response. So we're going to say check if 200 OK. I'm going to say if response dot status, so calling the status method, if that status gives us a request status code OK, that is an enum, so if the status was OK, right, then we've gotten a successful response. The response was 200, 200 OK, we can now move on. If the response was not 200 OK, if it was like a 404, 500, etc., then we're going to just print line and say response was not 200 OK. Perfect. So now the response is OK. We can now start to get the actual response text hello decode. All right. This might actually fail. So we have another match statement to use. Inside here, we'll say match response.text. So if we could get the response text, OK, and text will be inside there. We're simply going to print line the response text. So we're saying, yep, print line the response text. If for whatever reason we couldn't actually get the response text, we couldn't read it, then once again, error, 
and we'll just say print line could could not read response text and that is all done so now we're going to run this program and see how we go let's just go cargo run press enter now the request crate does take a while to actually download and install so you might see you know a two minute wait here but there we are response text hello decode perfect so that is the long way if I go inside here and change the URL to something like I don't know um, this doesn't exist so that is not a you're not a proper URL we should get responses not to our okay because the response here would have been 404 not found let's run it one more time we should see response was not to urgent okay let's see how we go there we are perfect okay so that is the long way now the short way is much simpler let's just comment all this out like that okay so the short way we can actually just simply define a new variable called response text which will be the response text equal to a similar thing we're going to say request get so the get method once again request gets the URL same one youtube.local forward slash hello now if we couldn't make this request so if something goes wrong we're going to say dot expects couldn't make requests and put on a second line here so attempt to make the requests if we couldn't then just print out couldn't make requests okay now we have the actual response we want to once again call the text method so we're going to say dot text and that will just return the actual you know string going inside here but if that doesn't if if that doesn't work if we couldn't read the response text we're going to say yeah mate could not read the response text so a similar thing as the long way except you're not actually doing anything to rectify the issues now we can just print line the response text let's say yep response text and then pass in the response text. Let's save this, run this program, see how we go. And we get response text hello world. Okay, so once again, I'm going to change the URL. I'm going to make it uh, non existent once again. Save this. This time we get 404 not found. This time we should see something different. All right, so here we actually get the response because we haven't actually handled not getting um, response code okay. So the response went through, the request went through, and we got the actual body, but it wasn't 200 okay. We didn't make that check. Therefore, we get the actual 404 HTML error message. Alright, so that is how you can make a HTTP GET request using the Rust programming language. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.